This is the Xi Jinping virus, uh, not the cause of it, but certainly the breadth of the outbreak is because of the authoritarianism and the lack of press freedom in the mainland. There was no mechanism for anyone to raise the alarm about this. The one doctor you know, who tried to in the early days and ultimately succumbed to the disease was, was detained and told to shut up. Public health crises and closed secretive governments don't really go together, do they? Right. They've even admitted that you know, they've, they've changed the way they, they collect data um, a couple of times. So it's very, very tough. Do you think the death toll numbers that they're reporting are accurate? There is a lot of pressure in China for things to get back to normal. The economy is suffering. Um, so I think you know, it would be reasonable to, to think that there, there is some malarkey with, with the figures. Um, but you know, it, it's a black box. We are in uncharted territory. One measure of China's influence is the pressure it has put on the World Health Organization to not officially call the coronavirus outbreak a pandemic. But on that front, the man at the center of it is blunt. Why is there a blockage with that? Why was the WHO reluctant to call it a pandemic? Well, technically it is. I suspect that it may be because colleagues may think that if they will use the word pandemic, then uh, it would trigger um, panic. And panic is no good for any kind of outbreak control. How was this virus born? What was the mechanism that gave birth to it? Probably a zoonotic jump. That is from a small mammal, likely uh, reared uh, or captured at least for food consumption. The reservoir appears to be uh, a bat. This is just incredible. You know, African cats, snakes, you've got monkeys, primates, in the same confined space. Has no one told these people that, that this is where the other viruses came from? Well, we have, and we've told them this is Wuhan in the making, number two, and so we're asking them to shut it down because it's a prescription for disaster. All within this small, hot, room ready to infect somebody that, that is amazing i've seen it all now places like this and so-called wet markets where wild animals are sold for food are where coronavirus first jumped from animals to humans so in viral terms these things are really living petri dishes aren't they yeah there's sleeping time bombs across the region right now Stopping the zoonotic jump at source is, of course, critical. In Hong Kong, Professor Gabriel Leung is at the center of the scientific fight against coronavirus. We are progressively building a fight that began at a wildlife market in Wuhan, China. Does the virus transmit into humans through people eating these animals or just handling them? probably the highest risk during the handling process, where you have animals under stress, therefore their immune system is down, and then through the handling process, including slaughter, that's when the highest risk of jumping from animal to humans would have occurred. Experts aren't certain, but the suspicion is that in Wuhan, coronavirus crossed to humans from the most trafficked wild animal in the world, the pangolin. Pangolins have been high on the menu for a while. Whatever it was, it was an animal. It jumped from an animal to a person. It's a wild animal that's been taken out of its natural environment, consumed in some way, come into contact with people in an unnatural way. That's the lesson here. Do you find it mystifying that you can have a, a grandparent dying in an aged care home in Sydney from an animal that was sold in a market in China? Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's incredible. Uh, I have to say, we're not surprised because we've been working on this for years. We've been trying to warn PR. We've been following them for years and they're still out there and they're not gonna close down business today because China, you know, closed down Wuhan. These are like drug dealers, you know? You make it difficult to sell drugs in one neighborhood, they're gonna move to another. From the very beginning, throughout December, it was spreading, and we now know it was spreading human to human. But the official line 
of the Chinese government was that this was all related to an animal market. And once they closed the market, it would all go away. Did they know differently at that time? Absolutely. Because uh, they were seeing cases coming into the hospitals that had nothing whatsoever to do with the animal market. As China now tries to rewrite history and claim it was transparent all along, a final nail in the coffin of their lie. Just two weeks ago, the head of emergency at Wuhan Central Hospital, Dr. Ai Fen, also went public, saying authorities had stopped her and her colleagues from warning the world. She has now disappeared, whereabouts unknown. I think you're aware of reporting that the Chinese were not transparent about all this in the very beginning. The question now that's arising, though, is people are asking if they had been more transparent in the very beginning, would it have prevented the spread of this virus period? Or would it have simply given more countries like the United States more time to prepare? Well, Judy, I don't think anything would have prevented the spread of this virus once it emerged into society with its capability of efficient spread and, and morbidity and mortality, that was it. But what could have been different, and, and this is something that people are gonna reflect on, you know, when this is all over, as they try and analyze what actually happened, is that if we had known that this was highly transmissible early on when it was just in China, I think other countries would have maybe been more quick on the trigger to try and inhibit uh, travel from China to their country. Because remember, it started in China, and then China, by the fact that there are so many Chinese people and travel is part of our daily existence in this planet, that there would maybe have been more attention paid to the possibility that just pure travel from China in general, but certainly from Wuhan and the Hubei district is something that could start an outbreak throughout the world. So that delay in transparency, I think likely had an impact on what I just said, the awareness that this could seed the rest of the world. All that points right back to Chinese officials, doesn't it? Looks that way. The Chinese government is to be congratulated for the extraordinary measures it has taken to contain the outbreak. The speed with which China detected the outbreak, isolated the virus, sequenced the genome, and shared it with WHO and the world are very impressive and beyond words. China is actually setting a new standard for outbreak response, and it's not an exaggeration. Having a name matters to prevent the use of other names that can be inaccurate or stigmatizing.